I'm going to bring Julie Hayden on from Fox News. Julie, good morning, and thank you for coming back up on the show, because what Tom's going to talk about was a story you did. So, first of all, good morning, and thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, Congressman, former Congressman Tancredo is here, gubernatorial hopeful Tancredo is with us, <laughs> speech of her. Now, when, when this whole Tom Clements story breaks, and you did a piece that you believe that there was a tie-in to this Saudi Arabian sex offender. And well, you, you, you know, what, I'm sorry. What I said in the piece was that, that actually multiple law enforcement sources said that at the time that was one of the main working theories. And, uh, and frankly, I think it still is a, a now, possibility that they're looking into. Now, you and I had you on the show, and I, I applauded you, so we both got nailed for it. Having oh, who, si- oh, uh, uh, but just, just people, some idiot doesn't sign his name and other people. But having said that, so Tancredo starts telling me this story. And by the way, how many people, Tommy, were automatically offered protection when Clements was oh, killed that had nothing, yeah. if you would? Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, Julie, hi. How are you today? Hey, good, Tom. Hi, nice to talk to you. Listen, well, this just confirms, really, what you've been saying. And, and, and indeed, the, the minute that uh, Clements was murdered, there, there were a whole bunch of people. I don't know how many actual the numbers are, but I know that everybody who was connected with the Al Turkey case... Uh, got protection because they believed the the powers that be believed that there was a connection between Clement's murder and Al Turkey, Anwar Al Turkey. Um, the uh, and, and it goes back. All right, let's let's just recap here for a second. Um, he is Al Turkey is a convicted Saudi felon. He's con- sent, sentenced to twenty eight years in prison in in Colorado because he had been imprisoning an Indonesian woman as a sex slave. It's important to understand that before that happened, he was being investigated by a whole raft of agencies because of his connections to Anwar al-Awaki, who is a radical Islamic cleric and uh, an al-Qaeda operative. Uh, He was killed in in uh, 2011 drone strike. So they were looking at him at that point in time, not for this sex slave issue, but because they believed him to be but certainly have terrorist connections. Then right. they arrest him for the sex slave issue. All right. Immediately upon his arrest, the Saudi government starts raising hell and begin and begins demanding that he be released because, of course, uh, well, a couple of things. First of all, in Saudi Arabia, it's not a crime to hold a woman now, as what a he sex did, that's slave. Right. That's one. Th- yeah. That's right. And they say, you know, you're doing something. Actually, you you are. This is just simply because you're against Muslims and that sort of thing. So much pressure was applied at the time, this is 2006, 2007, that indeed our Attorney General, John Southers, was sent no, to... No, just a second. Before you say that, Julie, did you know about this trip to Saudi Arabia? Yes. Mm-hmm. You did. I did yeah, not. Southers, okay. Southers was sent. Yeah. I mean, the, the, and, an, the, and an administration official from Owen's administration. Now, did you know where, how, where they stayed? That pressure has never, I mean, it's behind the scenes, but that pressure has never let up by the Saudi government. All right, let's back, right. Uh, I, I need to back it out. You so, are right. So, I, right. I, you are I, absolutely I, hang on, right. Tommy. I need everybody to get lockstep with this because you guys are both way ahead of the game. I didn't know that Southers, John Southers, right. they sent him to, with. And how, he how, met with what, the king. He met with the king. That's yes, right. Emir. Emir. Where, where, did, where did he stay, Tom? He, uh, it, well, it's, uh, it's a, a hotel. He had a six-room suite, is what I understand it to be. I mean, I don't know the name of the hotel, but it was a, this was all, I believe, in 5280 also. 5280 Magazine broke this right. story or had this in the, in thing. But he, had, he was <clears throat> staying in the six-room seat, suite. There was an administration official, uh, an official from the uh, 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 Owens administration with him. And the purpose of the meeting was to was to allay the fears of the Saudi family, of the Saudi king, saying, look, we're not really doing this against, you know, Muslims or anything. We have nothing against Muslims, but this guy really did commit it. Why they go and apologize but, but, to the king? What in the world? Well, so I wrote a letter at the time. That's how I got into this thing, because we found out that this happened. And I wrote a letter to the State Department and to the administra- and to Owens, mm-hmm. and, to, and I said, look, uh, this is unbelievable. N- nobody should be placating these people. Mm-hmm. Nobody should be kowtowing to the Saudis. You shouldn't be sending the attorney general over there, and certainly nobody from your administration. And, and so it, things kind of calmed down. All right, but, but the pressure never stopped to get him out. It continued until recently. Well, and, and may still, of course, be there, but there are, um, and, and Julie, now, 
you probably have a better idea of, of what has haps, happened subsequent to, to what I've just described and up to the present time. But there's a lot of speculation, and, and a lot has been written, in, it's in public, about the fact that the administration, this, this administration, the Obama administration, the State Department, has been pressing again for this transfer to take place, to send him back to Saudi Arabia. In fact, 2011, an agreement was signed between, right. between the Justice Department and the Saudis, ag agreeing to establish a prisoner exchange. Mm. And solely for this guy. Solely yes. to get this guy back. And this is where Tom right. Clemens kills it, right? Well, no. No, he, no, no, okay. no, no. All right. No, no. It, it, it goes on. It the, goes on. Exactly. And what happens is, so the, the pressure then is on the Hickenlooper government, and right. this is sort of late last year and early this year, and, and to cut to the chase, a deal was struck, and basically the final paperwork had been signed, everything was ready to go. You, to, let me back up. In Colorado, he's sentenced under the sex offender law, which is indeterminate to life, and he's refused, in order to get out, if you're a sex offender in Colorado, you have to participate in the sex offender treatment program. He's refused to do that which means he could be held in prison for the rest of his life. It's up to a parole board. Um, so the deal, so, you know, he's looking at life in prison if he stays in Colorado. So the deal is done. I mean, the way it was put to me is he was all but on the plane. His family back there is notified. And, I mean, I'm talking the king of Saudi Arabia is involved in all of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And at the last second, Clements, this Clements writes him a letter that says, no, you're not going to go, and Clements kills it. Now, why it's killed, here's what I think, uh, and this is, this is speculation on my part, but I'm going to connect some dots for some people. The Joint Terrorism Task Force is currently involved behind the scenes in the investigation into the Evan Ebel murder, uh, I think under the theory that either it's domestic terrorism or possibly still international terrorism. Um, one of the players in the Joint Terrorism Task Force is Jim Davis. Um, Jim Davis was a former SAC of the FBI in Colorado. Um, Jim Davis is now the head of Governor Hickenlooper's Department of Public Safety. That's right. So I think something happened to smash the deal at the last second. And I personally think that perhaps, number one, a little bit of public pressure, the Denver Post wrote an editorial about, editorial about it. People started doing news stories about it because the Arapahoe County District Attorney's Office, who prosecuted this guy, is outraged. They said, no, U.S. citizen would ever get this kind of treatment. Why are we doing this? Um, and so at the last second, it stopped. Now, is it stopped because of public pressure? Is it stopped because somebody said, hey, wait a minute. You know, they tell the Hickenlooper people, this guy has terrorist ties. We do not want him going back to Saudi Arabia. At any rate, the deal is crushed. Tom Clements is killed. Right. The Colorado Observer oh. is actually oh. uh, did a lot on this, um, on this issue, and, and I think a lot of pressure really stemmed from that little observation, I mean, that little right. so, sort of blog newspaper. By the way, Peter, it was the Royal Palace Hotel. Wow. And how, a six-room six suite. Six-room suite. Who paid for the suite? Uh, hey. I don't know. All right, so here's my I, don't, I, I, I guarantee you John Southers didn't. No, all right. No. All right, so. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> he gave him his visa. That's right. Uh, right, sorry, Mary. all right, so now I want to reset a question. I need to break and come back. And you saying that, and I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but John Hickenlooper okayed this? Well, I suspect the Tom Clements, I mean, he's the head of the Department of Corrections, but, but, but again, there's been, you know, there's a lot of political pressure, international political right. pressure, and domestic political pressure. And you said Barack Obama wanted this guy back to go back? Well, the, State the, the State right. Department. The State Department. All right. All right. I, I'm sure Barack Obama didn't spend a whole lot of time no. on this. I mean, you know, but, but I think there, there were a lot of things going on diplomatically to try to make this happen. And, and, and correct me if and I'm I wrong, think that but... it did not happen without Hickenlooper's knowledge. That, that's the I whole point. Think... It, it got to a, this got to a level that it only could have gotten to if Hickenlooper had approved it in advance. 